It's the hottest ticket in town. The once fortified palace of the president is now Sri Lanka's top tourist attraction. Tens of thousands of people have been pouring into his residence after protesters took over on Saturday. Many of them have been living without basics like food and fuel. Walking inside um, felt really surreal. Um, it was very overwhelming to see the extent of luxury while people were dying in queues, starving, having one meal every other day. One by one, people stream in, taking photos, resting up, working out or taking in a swim. Others enjoy a musical performance. Demonstrators have been rallying for months, frustrated at the island nation's dire economic state, caused, they say, by the government's economic mismanagement. The president has officially informed the prime minister he'll be stepping down on Wednesday. But the protesters say they won't leave until both leaders are gone. We are not going to trust them. We are stay here until they resign. The sooner the transition occurs, the change occurs, it will be better for the country because the country is in need of political stability. Economists say the situation in Sri Lanka is unlikely to improve until a foreign bailout is secured. The next government, the, the first thing is to try to finalise on an IMF programme, uh, which would also require a debt restructuring. The protesters want more than an election. They're demanding political reform and for the president to be stripped of sweeping powers. I don't know what the future holds, but I feel like this has been a monumental time. The president has been in hiding since his house was stormed. These protesters hope he'll keep his word and resign. Avani Dias, ABC News.